Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're well. Visualize. All right, all right, all right. Dylan, hello. We got the old. We got Ibs in today, Dylan. I don't know where he's been for the last couple of days, but Ibs is in the house. Pat Harvey, hello. Jorgen, hello. Lee, hello. BK, hello. Chris, hello. Alan, hello. Pedro, hello. Ibs, hello. Keith Seeger, hello. Where's Mr. Kelly? Hello. Ken, hello. Kaz, David, Chris, Lee Wilson, uh, Carl, hello. Hope you're well, son. Uh, John B. Headmasters in the house, Stu B. Phil, hello. Right, we're going to wait till uh, Mr. Penny, Jesus Christ, dude, in caps, no, announcing his um, himself. Mal, hello. Phil Hughes, hello. Uh, right, Jimmy Carrigan, hello. Oh, popping in. Ian Randall, hello. I could just sit doing this all day. Uh, right, that's it. Stop, no more hellos. Hope you're well. Like my little sheet yesterday, I hope some of you looked in the chat room, saw Strasbourg, which I posted later in the afternoon. We've got a few to look at at half time in, um, in these games that are finishing, coming up to half time now. So we'll have a look at a few of them to have a little punt through the second half. If anything qualifies, as always, I don't know whether it will. You've got to get the attention when you can. Happy Easter to you. Um, Oxford was a home games for me, 3 0 up. See, we'd started this at three o'clock. I'd have given you that. Um, oh, God. oh, Elfsburg's home games for me, and they've scored already as well. Oh, well, I was going to give you that one, but that's done. They've both gone. FTS income. Do I play if I have game, game Leicester as a first half goal and second half goal? Do you still play the same match regardless if the. Uh, yeah, usually. I mean, if I was. A right good few quid up, and uh, I'd won in the first half, and I might decide to shut the lid. But no, usually I wouldn't. I wouldn't let what's happened in the first half put me off uh, pun, a bit in the second half trade if it qualifies on my shortlist. No, um, what was it? There was goals in both halves for that one there. So you must have won somewhere. One one and three one. I had a late goal there off my new sheet. Lovely. Uh, right, oh, it's warm. I'll, um, yeah, we'll just let these games get by half time. They're all clicking over now. 45 minutes. Keep the questions coming if you want to. Uh, and then uh, Darren will be off trying to build this sheet. Afternoon, Jay. Hope you're well, son. Darren will be off trying to build this sheet. He tries to build, tries to build the same sheets. Makes me chuckle. Bless him. When do the hippies play again? That was brilliant, that. If you haven't watched it, I mentioned it yesterday. If you haven't watched Hibs pinball football, absolute quality. You got a couple of the old gooners with the old April Fools this morning. And I've got a couple of them panicking, scrabbling to the BBC website. Points deduction. Monsieur Nolan, hello. God, we've got a few in today, haven't we? You can tell it must be a bank holiday or something. As always, like and subscribe, or I'll get the old bouncer to kick you out. He's been in hiding. <laughs> Absolute quality, son. That was and a cracking answer from Scott Harvey when I put it on Twitter. He said, I expect that was a penalty to Rangers. Well, no, it was you who said penalty to Rangers. Wasn't it? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If you haven't seen it, it's a hips free kick. They, the guy boots it, hits his own player in the face. It bounces off his face. It's another one on the air. They bounce, he knocks two players down with their own free kick. Right, we're getting a half time. Right, we have got the Bolton game on our radar. We have got Mitterland on our radar. Hang on a minute, I haven't got that in the old league list. Hold on a second. Hello, Monsieur Farmer. I haven't forgotten you, just with Sam's brother passing away. My time got a little bit uh, around the twist. Hopefully get to a few things this week. Um, where was I? Meterland. Yeah, nil one. We've got that. We've got Leighton Orient, which I is 
a nil two because I won first off 1.5 on that. We've got Oxford, which is 3 0, one home gains on that. Don't think much will come up there though, to be honest, with it being 3 0. Uh, and we will have Elfsborg and St. Gallen. So we've got five games to um, look at. Afternoon, Imre. All right, do you want to see the sheet while I do this? I don't like you all getting too excited. I can either just do it here and not show the sheet, or I can show the sheet and you can all get excited. Afternoon, Derek. The Bolton's gone 2 1. Up the Bolton. Late surge for promotion. Championship's going to be a good finish, isn't it? Good game tonight, Ipswich Southampton. Much more interesting than that rubbish we had to endure yesterday. I actually put that on afternoon this year, put that on for a bit. And that was dull as dishwater, wasn't it? Greatest league in the world. Deary me. Arsenal went there for the draw, didn't even try and win the game, and City weren't much better. It's like watching when teams come into Spurs and sit behind the ball and we're clueless how to unlock them. Just pass it around ourselves for ages. Boring. And I've got the I've still got the saved when I said uh, when I said um, Liverpool would win the league at the start of the season. We'll be right up there. I've got loads of stick for it. And people know I can't stand Liverpool. I've got one bloke called me all sorts of names. I've got it all hidden. I've got it all kept up. We'll be able to get the old wobbly Arsenal bus out. We'll be able to get all the comments out. Somebody's just texted me now. Will I be eating humble pie, Arsenal fan? Literally, as I came on, will I be eating humble pie when we win the league? He's texted me. If I win the league, I'll get a job. Come to the home of football and get a good pasting. Right, we're at half time, a couple to go, we'll just let Bolton get there. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't mind. I don't know which one you mean, you might mean Liverpool mine. I don't really want any of them to win the league. I want it all just to be declared null and void and cancelled. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, Mr. Hollerus comes on just as Bolton take the lead, and we're looking at that game. I don't think Liverpool are anybody's faves unless you're a Liverpool fan. some prices as well so I'll be with you in a minute don't worry they won't go up I love it right let's load I'm just going to load these games up just talk amongst yourselves who have we got Bolton let's load a few markets up oh, is it 2-1 3.5, 4.5, we'll grab the 5.5 as well, just in case. Bolton Meat Lord. There must be somebody from Denmark here who knows how to say that. Oh, Mr. Mew's in here flipping it. I feel honoured now. We've got the big we've got the big guns coming in this afternoon. It must be a bank holiday. Meat along nil one, one, two, and three, and then up. So all I'm doing here is going to uh, uh, Angel and grabbing some markets. Uh, Leighton Orient, let's grab that. The old hot cross buns have all gone in the bin. Any that were left? Uh, what were they? Leighton Orient, nil two, two, three, and four. Um, do, 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 do. And Oxford is three. Oh, let's have a look at that. I'll be in 
amazed if we get much there. Oxford search three, four, and five. Okay, so oh. Peter Perverse Troy. Have we got Troy in? Hello, Troy. Listen to the podcast. Brilliant. Quality. English League one. That was a good one this week, Sam. About a bloke called Troy. The missus just had an extremely chocolatey hot cross bun. Well, the missus needs to have a word with herself because that is not what you'd be doing. The Dale Winton story, I forgot about the end. Well done, Harry. Well, I'll, I'll probably do a pod tomorrow, so I'll put that in the pod. So I forgot that. That was, that was terrible. That pod. Uh, that getting mistaken for Dale Winton. It's not right, is it? Right, what have we got? Bolton, uh, Late and Orient, let's just do low, what's Late and Orient? Nil two, let's have a, let's have a quick end of there. Sports 2 0. Right, I'm going to put the sheet up before these games, so I'm just going to fish you in now. Hang on a minute, my usual slick presentations. Uh, hold on a second, so it's not working. No why. You think I'd have this off by now, wouldn't you? This is number 29, plus I've done a load of other ones. Right, let's have another go. Share screen window. Right, uh, share screen. Make it a bit bigger. Right, so we can basically look at anything, any situation for any minute with this sheet. For those of you who weren't here yesterday, um, I've just been, I've just seen the cheese and marmite thing. I don't even, I might even boot you out in a minute for that. Uh, so basically, what I can do here is I can select any half time score or I can select all half time scores if my uh, arrow set was on that drop down box. So I can set that so we can see League One, it's half time. So I've set up for 46 minutes. That's the minute we're going to be entering. I'm looking at games that were 101 to 1.99 this morning for over 2.5 goals. I'm looking for them having a plus on minimum score of 2.76. Uh, and I've now added in, I'm just looking to see if they have uh, shortened up during um, the day up to kickoff. So the market basically also fancying goals. So we've got everything here telling us that there might be goals in the model and the price. And then we've got the market coming in saying, yeah, we want to back goals in that. And I can run the analysis for every goal. He says, there we go. 
and I get it in an instant. There's been 150 games in League One that have met this criteria. Uh, 127 of them have had a goal after 46 minutes, which is 1.18. And if we look at Peterborough at the moment, it is uh, Late Orient Peterborough is 1.22, and uh, Bolton is 1.21. So small amount of value there, and exactly 50 percent exactly 75 of those have had another goal uh, another two goals after 46 minutes i don't tend to do it on 46 minutes i do it on 65 onwards because i want to get the trading ground but i can also select a score so we can select that nil two uh, and run that analysis and you can see this is where you when you get down into these sort of score lines you're only going to get a small sample size but in league one we've had seven games that were nil two um and six of them had a goal, and three of them had uh, two goals. So basically what I will be doing is I will be running that a bit later into the second half, um, and we will see if there's any value in prices to trade goals. I'm not saying there will be. Let's just have a quick look at that Denmark one. So you can sort of you know, do it like this as well. I could look at every league and say if it's 2-0, 0-2, uh, but obviously leagues vary differently. 145 games, 128 had a goal, 1.13. So you look at that Peterborough game and you see it's 1.21 or whatever it was, 1.22. Um, and 1.79 had two goals. Peterborough is 1.99. So if you wanted to factor in every league, but I tend to do this league specific because obviously things like the Dutch Ersty are massively different to uh, the French League too, for example. Right, so I'm going to have a look at this one, nil one first in uh, Denmark. Mitterland faces FC Nordsea Island, and we've only got nine games that were 0-1, but seven of them had a goal, 1.29 uh, and 1.5 for two goals. Six of them had two goals. So what I will be doing, I'll be running that through the second half on these games um, that I've got here, Bolton, Mitterland, Lake Orient, um, and uh, there's one more. Uh, and Oxford, and I'll also be looking at Elfsborg uh, when it gets to half time and St. Gallen when it gets to half time because they'll both be there. So it's good, isn't it? So we want to have a look at that St. Gallen. Oh, they've just taken the lead, St. Gallen, for one nil. He does like it. I do like it, yes. Well, you need to start being a bit nicer to me. It's the speed mark, the speed of it. So how quick. Built it myself. Darren's Googling now. Darren's Googling how to build it now. webinar details will be out soon i'm not in charge of the details i don't know when they're coming out uh but they uh it will be limited because the webinar software limits attendees and i'm going to walk you right through how i use all this for my uh for my trading um now i've changed quite a bit since we took the data in house since the headmaster uh came on board um i've changed quite a bit in in uh, how i change how i how I trade is still the same, um, but removing, taking in things like how the odds move helps me remove the variance. So we've been, at a, I've been testing it for three, four months, and I've sort of uh, going to kick it on from now onwards. So I've sort of tested it up to the international break, but I'm going to do a little webinar talking you all through it. Uh, Michael is nine gate. No, that's what I said. When you get those scores like two nil, nil one, you don't get um, you don't get the big sample sizes. I personally like twenty plus. But we'll just have a look at the prices and see what's there later when we get to 65 mins. But um, just like the in play tool that we've got on, but doesn't factor into this and you have to takes a bit longer to run. Uh, and we've got a solution for that coming, don't worry. Um, no, I like sort of 20 games plus. Uh, 
afternoon rob so these are all just kicking off now i could run some other scenarios but i tend to like the games that were odds on in the morning i could go and look at the ones that weren't but I'll, that wouldn't be what i do so i do try and replicate what i do i do like the 2.76 price on above and games that were odds on over 2.5 that's where you get the most success without a shadow of a doubt. And I'll be explaining all that in the webinar, showing you the difference between the two. Because I think there's good things with the situations like this. Obviously, these games, when I've got them on the list this morning, picked a time to do the webinar. I don't know they're going to be 2 0, 3 0 at half time. Um, and then what do people do? Oh, well, they're 2 0, 3 0, not, not big sample size. And like I said, I'll go off and find something else to trade. You just got to sit and be patient sometimes. But we'll have a look at Elfsborg. Oh, that's 2 0 as well. Is the webinar focused at fixed odds or trading? Um, it's focused really on trading, but everything I do wins at fixed odds, Pedro. If it didn't win at fixed odds, I wouldn't trade it. So basically, one of my first things that I work out is if I just bet it blind, does it win? Uh, and then I try and look at how to um, trade around that and remove the variance. And I do that in everything. You look at the golf yesterday, uh, just seeing Benjamin pop up. You know, we had, um, just shows you how quick and how on the ball you've got to be trading. Uh, Akshay Bhatia was, uh, I said him at the start of the event, 90. He played well all week. He hit the lead yesterday after eight holes, got himself to uh, top of the leaderboard, traded down at 5.5, 5, 5 5.8, because uh, he still had Scheffler around him. Uh shot in the lead and somehow managed to not finish in the top 10. Uh, he stood on the next and shit the bed and missed the par three green, left it in the bunker. Um, but you could have been in at 90 and out at five. But those golf tips win. Those golf tips win long term, but they go on huge. You know, you can have huge weeks without a loser. Uh, so if you get a chance at 90 to save your money at five, I would always say save your money. It's just churlish not to. And it's the same. I treat the football the same. Just always looking to try and save me money and then go from there. Hold on a second. I've just got to check. Right. Yeah, I didn't. I, after Barty had paid himself out, I kind of got glazed away from it, but he missed a five footer on the last, didn't he, Scheffler? Right, hold on a second. I've just got to check some other stuff. And then I yes, no, exactly. There you go, Marty. He wants that sheet. Look at him. <laughs> He wants that sheet. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. More markets. More markets. I don't know what to do with. Really? Hold on a second, team. Lincoln fly up the table. Oh, that's why. There we go. I thought I was missing some games. Sorry, I didn't have uh, Norway on my on my um, front scrolls. I think if I think if you I don't know I don't check it. Right, Meterland has gone two nil. Um, I don't check it, Damo. 
I don't, I, I never pay any attention to these things. Dave just tells me that we need likes and Kerry's the gatekeeper. I just do as I'm told. I don't do uh, Sunderland getting thumped. I don't do any um, genuinely any of the marketing or website stuff now. So whatever whatever comes and arrives uh, is um, Dave. But things like this help. Liking, liking gets more people looking at the right stuff. Sunderland getting absolutely pumped. That cat's been run over by a bus. Um, right, so Mel Sports 2 0. What was the other game? I uh, think Gallon 0 0. I'll run those two when we get. Oh, that was, I was disallowed that goal. I'll run those two when we get there, and then we can focus on the uh, 60th minute onwards at, uh, in League One. Metal or Nordstein doing all their work in the first part of the half. Nil three now, so that one will be out the window. We won't be touching that. Watford nil one. The manager survived for another week. Oh, one of these days, boys. Bolton three one. Goals flying in. You see, there was value in the one point one eight. I told you. Alton flying to the top of the table. Sent the other have scored. Was flying in. The other day, no goals. Everything's flying in. Elfsborg have gone 2 1 now. It's just relentless. All these games having three goals by half time. Do like the older, uh, do like the Norwegian league style again. Good league to play in that is. I'm just going to load the St. Gallen market, play amongst yourselves. Executive of Equalise, right? Yeah, nothing in the Bolton. There's nothing in the, because it could be one of them afternoons, nothing in the Bolton game with it going 3 1. Too many goals already. Uh, late in Orient, let's look at the 0 2. Be 
you don't know how many minutes gone. Yeah, there was it was on um, I was on a first half early goal at Elfsborg myself, Harry, as were some others in here. Uh, all right, uh, what was I looking at? Late Norway and Peterborough till noon, noon two. and Oxford, there won't be 3 nil, no chance. So the game I'm looking at, I'm looking at Leighton Orient, Peterborough, I'm looking at St. Gallen, Elfsburg won't be at 2-1 because 2-1 in Sweden is a miniature 4-0 Sunderland. Getting absolutely hammered. Goals. See, I like, I like the one nils. They're the good ones. One nil, nil one. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look. We'll let Peterborough run another Oxford uh, link. Late Norway and Peterborough run another five, six minutes, and we'll have a look at that St. Gallen game in when the half-time whistle goes. See, the joys of live TV. You don't know what's going to happen. It all goes against you. Patience, though. That's what you got to learn. you got to learn just to sit and wait rather than, oh, I'll trade that one. Or, I think there'll be goals there. Oops, stay strong. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Don't say it. I think one of the key things with that sheet is to learn. Like, he's why I don't let you have these toys because you'd run it. There's people here who'd run it for every game, and exactly what um, Michael said, there'll be sample sizes of four, and they'll go on over a bit. That's why I don't let you do it yourselves. But um, you've just got to have set criteria and stick to it. Not dark about. A lot of people just go up and down trading because they dark about. I'm going to talk all about that in the first. The webinar's two parts. I'm going to talk all about that in part one. I'm going to break it all down for you. It is, uh, when is it scheduled for? Good talk, good, good question, well presented. Um, 10th and 12th is the dates. Whatever days of the week they may be. Week Wednesday, week. Week Wednesday, week. Th week Wednesday, week Friday, is it? 10th and 12th anyway, 7.30 in the evening. Or you're all about to tune into EastEnders or Coronation Street or whatever other garbage it is you watch. Right, half time at St. Gallen. Let me load that one baby up.
So gallon of one mil. Minutes, I hope. Right, ladies and gentlemen, St. Gallen will be a little two ahead with one ahead cover when it kicks it. I mean, it's value now, but I will wait personally. I will wait until 60, 65 minutes. I tend to drip in between 60, 65, 70 round then, depending on the price, see what price it is when it gets there. Um, and uh, assuming there hasn't been three goals by the time we get to that stage. So we will keep an eye on that one for the next... Um, 10, 15 minutes. None of the League One ones. Uh, well, we've got Peterborough to look at, but I don't think that's going to be anything. I've confined myself to the stage that that's going to be um, all a bit short. It can be a bit of a goal machine at times. Peter was Peter late the other day, didn't they? We were letting in goals for fun. Uh, so all eyes on St. Gallen, and I will we'll wait till we get there. Feel free to ask any questions. I can sing you a song. All the skills. See old Bolton, they go three points behind Derby. Derby not playing today. Portsmouth are they playing? No, home and Hose, they look. Championship, 10th and 12th. Ian, do you have a sheet or planning to have a sheet where you record, record in-play prices, maybe minute-by-minute minute prices for each market? You'll have to wait and see, Imri. We do, we do have that. Now, yes. Uh, do we have it in a format you can use? Uh, mm, yes. Are we going to make it available to you right now? No. Uh, can I do the moonwalk? I'll do the moonwalk if we get a goal, son. Uh, 10th and 12th, John C. I said, um, yeah, I think you're, you've got to wait, Emery. we got, um, well, it's no secret. It's no secret we're looking to move everything away from Excel as much as possible to online. Um, um, some other sources too, Carl. Uh, and as we move stuff online, more stuff will become available. But it's as Neil's in here, Neil will tell you, it's not just a matter of whack it up there. One, we've got to get it all working properly, check it for accuracy, check it all works. Then we've got to build a front end for people to log into it so you can save systems. And then we've got to do a load of training around it, which is the fun part. We've got to make videos. and So it's not just a matter of, oh, we've got this, off you go. It's a matter of doing it right. And then it's once it's done, it's there for pretty much evermore. But the plan really is to have all this stuff on, all, on your own web dashboard so you don't need to run 42 Excel sheets. Um, and when you've got systems, you'll be able to save it and you just log in and the games for your systems will be there so you wouldn't have to run Excel to get there. And all this is uh, all this is what I'm building in the background, isn't it, Alistair? <laughs> I love winding him up, just seeing him. I just see him raise his eyebrows and he's just like rolled his eyes. 
but yeah, it's you know, it's like this. It it's like these sheets. I give you this sheet. People just go and do. I, I just don't want people going off running things, doing their brains. But it's uh, yeah, that is time consuming. That's a job, Emery. Really. But yeah, it's um, we collect trillions of data and getting it all in the right order and making it available. But it will, it will, it will come. Whether we get there this summer or the summer after. Um, we've not really got a deadline on it. Confirmed it's all your own work. <laughs> ah, I love him. I absolutely love him. <laughs> He's got his head in his hands right now. Uh... <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is where, that's where we're, uh, that is where we're heading with it all. And that'll be not. I mean, it'll be. It's better for me, not just you guys. Don't think that it's it's being built for me. Really, I'm just gonna. We're just getting in a format where others can use it. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely, has tickled me. I'll be laughing at that tonight. I drop him little texts. As I'm using this stuff, because we've like, got stuff on test, as I'm using it, I drop him little texts. Can we do this? What about this? <laughs> Just while it's in my head, can we do this? But I do do it as a play pop in my head. And off he goes into his little coding den where the magic happens. <laughs> made me chuckle. Not as much as Troy and the armed robbery made me chuckle. Exactly. Pen and paper, Neil. I was a pen and paper. These boys have changed me. Up until, what, 2012? I was pen and paper only. Still got the old rocket book. But, um, yeah, no, the on, I'd, I'd, uh, I'll give you a preview perhaps in the summer of some of this stuff. But it'll be much better for you guys. It'll move to you can move it to monthly pricing as opposed to charging for the year. You'd be able to. Well, there's loads of stuff that will be benefit more, much more benefit to you guys. ZX Spectrum. I had a ZX Spectrum. You know, used to have um, Horace go skiing and and Trans Am. I loved Trans Am on the ZX Spectrum. Manic Miner. Absolute quality they were. Like in Orient, it didn't it got to 66 being a goal. Just shows you how it calls. We're not involved, Thrungus. We're going to be uh, St. Gallen will be where we're looking. Um, all the games that we looked at in League One, unfortunately, all had a load of goals. And the one I, uh, the one I did look at was... Um, like in Orient, but it was a bit short. But it just shows you how this how it, how it picks um, picks the goals out. Every single one of these has had a goal. Uh, yeah, Daily Thompson's decathlon. That's it. Manic Miner. God, that used to keep me up for hours. That Manic Miner going along in the lanes. But Trans Am, I absolutely loved Trans Am. Used to play it for hours. Load the old cassette in. Make a noise. I came with a manual. It took me about four days coding to display like what looked like a picture of a vinyl record on on um, the screen. It was literally just a load of uh, circles all together. But it was like a day's coding. I was so chuffed when it did it. Amazing how far we've come since that time. Yeah, that loading, the loading of the loading of that screen, incredible. Uh, the cassette. Yeah. Great generation, mate. Right? Limited time. You can have an hour on the ZX Spectrum. 
And then the old flashy people had the Commodore 64 or the BBC, the people who had a few quid. Bromwich coming back. That's it, yeah. The old. Yeah, we should. That noise. Ding, ding, ding. Mad. Wasn't it? Absolutely mad. We'll walk one now. Might leave you uh, one more sec. Just checking. Oh, I've got Rosenborg. I've got yeah. I'll leave you before we go. I'll leave you that as well. I have Rosenborg. That's coming up half time. That's one of these games. So we've got Rosenborg and. Oh, hang on, Mold and Trump, so these might be quite good. Hold on a second. Getting ahead of myself here. Rosenborg. Tromso. Tromso, Tromso. No. Let's no. Yield strong. No, no, oh yeah, it's Rosenborg as well. And given that it's nil nil. Scum, no need for words like that. You don't hear me coming on saying that about the gooners, do you? That old show, no swearing, no nasty words. Uh, right, Rosenberg we'll be having a look at as well, my good people. So we'll do. We'll be in St. Gallen and Rosenberg. St. Gallen is definitely going to be a pun. Uh, would it be possible to have a three or five season subscription? Uh, yeah, it would be a nightmare. Imagine if we did that and, I don't know, the internet blew up. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it just being yearly. I would like to do some monthly, but that has its own problems because people use things for a month and then naff off and go, oh, I gave it two weeks. It wasn't any good for me. Um, so yearly at least, yeah. But we'll have a look at all that side of it when we get to it because you'll just have your own dashboard you log into. I will have to be Excel. It will just log in and however you want it, Emory, that will be what you see. If you want to look at one-minute prices, you'll be able to do it to your heart's content on screen. As I can now see, Rosenberg, I can tell you the odds on a first half goal on 19th minute or 1.77, 20th minute 1.82, 22nd 1.89, I can just keep going. You will, yeah, we'll, yeah, well, we're very, very <coughs> aware that people like Excel, Harry, so there will be a, always, well, I'm not saying always forever, but there will be an export to Excel. We don't just expect to turn Excel off for people. I'll still use Excel for bits, um, but yeah, we won't just we won't just be going down the road of taking it away. Um, obviously, five years down the line, I can't say that there will be, but certainly when we swap over, there will be a. Um, you'll be able to do everything you can. I I imagine we'll have a season where we'll run them both in tandem, so we'll have an online, and you'll still have access to the full Excel, and then there'll be an option to just download Excel if you want to. We won't just take it away. We're not mean. You're very much in my thoughts of how we do all this. 
I'm, I'm quite keen to uh, not destroy what people use it for and what they do. So we need to build all that functionality in, but keep it the same as well. Aren't we, Alistair? Or well, don't I, Alistair? <laughs> Right, St. Gallen. St. Gallen is just getting going. Right, we'll be having a little go there. And Rosenberg, I will run in eight minutes and then I'll leave you to it. So I'll leave you bet instructions for both those games. I know a lot of this is just me talking and sitting around, but uh, that's how you win. Patience, sit on your hands, don't do things when you shouldn't. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Just going to have a look at that elf sport game for a late goal as well. Hold on a second. Let's just have a little look at Elf Sport for 80 minutes onwards. Schweden. Just to show you, I'm just going to I'm just going to share my screen. Just show you a little, um, just show you how this makes a difference. All right, here we go. Just while we got a couple of dead minutes, while we wait for these games to get to the time, just a little bit of education. So, for those of you who like to chase late goals, if you can see that, so I basically set this up for league uh, halftime score, all halftime scores. Uh, exactly the same parameters here if we were looking for a goal after 80 minutes if we set this to out well it's just if we set it to standard so I'll set it looking at every single uh, every single game so league all half time scores just these parameters but we've got no record of what the odds do if I just click that look how quick it is we've got 8,006 games uh, how many have a goal after 80 minutes? 45%. So I've talked about this a lot. It's about 45%. So if you're back in late goals, people who love to talk about 80 minutes onwards, you will lose 55% of the time. Um, and if you're not betting above these odds, you've got next to no chance. Um, you know, and I know loads of people come on, oh, we're late goal specialists, goal whisperers. It's absolute crap. It's very difficult um, to beat these numbers. But if we just go and change that to odds in. Hang on, I just want you to load that down. Get your pen and papers there, 45%. And if we look at the ones that go out, so the ones that have drifted during the day, see how it goes down to 43%. So where the market, that's how we know them. You know, I'm not a great believer in the market sufficient. I'm not one of those, but I do like to use the market as an indicator. I, I don't think I'm cleverer than the market overall. So I've, if the market's telling me something, I like to try and get that information. And what we haven't been able to do is get it consistently because we didn't have the setup, we didn't have the data ourselves. But me and my little headmaster friend there, have, uh, we've now got that situation. Uh, so you can see how that's gone down. 
And in these sort of bets, two, three percent is massive. You know, you're going to win another two, three percent, lose another two, three percent of your bets over a hundred bets when you're only winning 43 percent. You're going to get beaten up. Uh, and then if, obviously, if that one goes out, if we change that to in, you can now see how it goes up to 47 and a half percent. So we've got a nice. Um, you know, another little thing that will just gives us another couple of bets that win every hundred. And obviously, you're going to pick your spots around there because you can do leagues and think uh, scores and you can get a much better uh, percentage. But you're not going to be winning 80% of bets, goals after 80 minutes. Um, but you can get it up to 50 55. Um, uh, so if you can get it up to sort of 55%, 45%, then you um, can do quite nicely, especially if you drip it in and get bigger prices. Normally about 2.1 ish, 2.2, which is kind of what the market thinks. But there's a lot of games you can get in. But a St. Gallen has just suspended. Just waiting eight, ten minutes for that to get there. Uh, yeah, Chloe, CLV is a good. I just don't use it. I don't use it. Some people use it religiously. I talk a bit about this in the webinar actually, but it's. Um, that I'd, I'd prefer personally just to say the market is a good indicator then you have to be um clv um, particularly when using the exchange and some of the markets might be weaker but uh you know betting soft books yeah i can which again as i say i won't go into it now i'll cover all that in episode one but the market as a whole is a good indicator and the minute you think you're better than the market, you're probably in a bit of trouble. For me, everything is always about why am I having the bet? What's the reason am I having that bet? And if I have that bet a thousand times, can I make money? Not winning that one individual bet. That's why things like this are. You give somebody, you know, oh, we're going to have a bet at St. Gallen. It doesn't win. Oh, I did it. Oh, I went on. Oh, it's a YouTube. You bet St. Gallen. That lost. That was a load of old shit. Can't do it out about people like that. <coughs> they will always be losers. As Kerry would do. She's not in today, must be out with the saucepans. Bolton 4 4, are they pasted? Oxford 4 0. They were one of my home games. I missed it. Oxford and Elfsborg. If we'd done 3 o'clock, I'd have given you both of them. There might be a way you can get your hands on them. Watch the webinar and find out. St. Gallen they've packed up, been suspended for about five minutes. See what happens there. About 400 different messages in. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, there he is in his cockpit watching them all. Dangerous free kick. What's a dang? I don't know what a dangerous free. What's classed as a dangerous free kick? The comeback is on. No, well, is it? Edge of the box. That's a dangerous free kick. Is it? There was a great post on Twitter this morning. Um, I can't remember where it's got sales Things which didn't exist in football until 2023. Transitions, low blocks, number sixes, number eights. Why is there so much wanker talk in football now? <laughs> Maybe laugh. I prefer the days. Get it in the mixer, son. Get it in the mixer.
All right, we'll be going to St. Gallen in a minute. Elfsborg 2-2, two, two. see, it was on the list. This sheet is the Goal Whisperer. All right, let's get some prices, St. Gallen, 2.32. Where are we at? 57, eight minutes to go. Need a winner at Cov. They've just had one chalked off, haven't they? I've been in my phone next month, getting a new number. Got too many people got my number, it just goes non-stop when football's on. Any trades, any bets, would you fancy? Streets of Rotherham. Well, you don't need a winner, it's 2 1. It's 1 2 to, to um, Cardiff. They don't win many games these days, do they? Cardiff winning, Swansea losing. Happy day in Wales. Is he in here, old, um, old old Welshman's not in here, isn't he, Mark? Manfield today. Oh, Rosenborg, nil nil. Let's have a little look at that bad boy. Hold on a second. These are. Markets flipping over here, Rosenborg. Oh, one, two. Oh, so look at this. Here we go. Look, we'll show you this one. There. Let's just show you this little bad boy. Hold on a minute. Where do we go? Share the screen. There. I don't know how I'm going to do all this, my head's going to fall off. Share screen, window. Right, so, Rosenborg, Norwegian Tipperlagen, a league I absolutely love. Nil-nil, 46 minutes, same details. 101 to 1.99, 2.76 and above price on. Odds have been was backed in pre-match. Run the analysis. Here we have got 23 games, 22 had one goal. This is, I've said it at 46, 1.05, it is 1.26. See, the good thing is at half time when games are nil nil, people don't think there's going to be goals. I don't play a lot of nil nils, but I do play these sort of nil nils. Uh, 15 of them had two goals, 1.53 over 1.5 is 2.2. So you could play that now. You could drip in now. I personally will wait and drip in a little bit later. But Rosenborg, that, that's the sort. That's what you wait for. They're the ones you sit patiently and you just ignore all that stuff that's gone on and go absolutely beautiful. not saying there's going to be goals. What I'm saying is we're getting tremendous value for what we've had in this profile of game. We're matching that up now. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Rosenborg. Uh, Sandy Fjord, look at that, I'm all over my Norwegian. Uh, he is in it, Mark's in it. Right, I watched, hang on a minute. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to out, I'm going to out myself now with this. Hold on, I've just taken a, a detour for football to talk Welsh. I'm just going to, can I paste this in here? Look at that there. All right, make that bigger. I'm going to make this really big. I'll make it small. 
Walshman. See this here? D R W S or this is Welsh, lads. I mean, it's not even words, is it? I watched, um, and I don't watch a lot of TV, but I do like that Gareth Malone. I think it's just really good how he goes and gets people from, a lot of them from underprivileged backgrounds, and teaches them a skill, helps them. And he's done a thing at Easter. I only watched the first two. Um, I think it's three parts, but the first two where he taught people. Uh, he went and basically got eight people who'd never sung before and taught, taught them to sing. Um and they were going to put on this Bark concert. Absolutely brilliant. I just love watching how he does it. Just think he's a really nice gentleman. But they're walking in and out of this hall in Wales, and this is on the door. And I thought, well, someone's just having a laugh, aren't they, there? It's actually Welsh for automatic doors. Look at it. Look at the state of that. It's never, it's never even been a language, is it? What is that? Who thought that D-R-W-S was a word? What were they doing? I don't know what you drink in Wales, son, or whether it's the sheep. I've no idea. That'll get me. That'll get me barred by YouTube. Um, but that you need some serious word with yourself. And when I, what's even worse is when I saw it, I thought of you. I instantly thought of you when I saw it. Right back to Norway. I told you that. Right, hang on. No, back to St. Gallen. There you are. Sorry for that little detour. You don't get this on other shows. Let's do that. I need to go and see. Makes sense. Drurus automatic. It's not even a word. Uh, apologies for there. Oh, West Brom have got a late equaliser against Watford, pushing them playoff places. Uh, right, St. Gallen is coming up 65 minutes. Absolutely beautiful. 2.92. So just wait to, to get to three and then drip in another goal at St. Gallen, drip in between 65 70, 65 75. Exit on a goal. So if, it, if there's a goal, you can either remove your liability or green up uh, and then cover late on. So you'll be covering um, 2.0x on a single goal, uh, which will be sometime around about uh, 82 minutes, something like that. <laughs> look at this. Look, 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 all the jokes are coming out now. Look at that. Look at this here. Oh, yeah, the old Scots hate speech starts to lay down. I've got to be careful because old. Old uh, Pinky and Perky, Hibs and Motherwell, they'll be reporting me. I've got to be careful what I'm saying right now, I'm not. I'll be getting myself done. Right, St. Gallen, did you get that? St. Gallen, dripping over 2.5 goals uh, and uh, cover on 1.5 if we don't get a goal late on. And you can do exactly the same at Rosenberg, whatever time you like. Reported already, there you go. <laughs> oh, dear. See, I love you lot. It's just good fun. Um, but that, that's never been a word, has it? Drool is automatic. Imagine walking around having to learn that. No wonder they speak English. Uh, <laughs> I'm so rude to people. Um, right, St. Gallen, I've given you that, and the same at Rosenberg. So they are the two. Rosenberg, exactly the same when it gets to 60, 65 minutes. Uh, dripping, it will be value. You've seen the price, it will be value, whatever, unless there's a red card, and then you can just ignore the game. Um, that's the only thing we can't factor into this at the minute. But well, it does factor in it, in fact, in fact, it ignores them. But if you're that way inclined that you think red cards have a massive effect and you want to psychologically blame them, then you can. Got that in, I've got that in the uh. Got the old Simon Muir, CC Muir. I've got a bit of Dunning Kruger in the webinar as well. Got a little bit of Dunning Kruger to cover. People looking up, what's that? Bilingual live trading. See, I, see, I cater for everybody. I threw in a little bit of, if you want to know what automatic doors in Welsh is. <coughs> I do like that old Gareth Malone. I think he's brilliant at what he does. And a, just a very, very nice guy. Right, team, I'm going to leave you with that one because I've got to go and check on my dog. Uh, so you should be in St. Gallen now. I can't say that a goal is going to come, but you've got the play. And repeat that play for Rosenborg versus Sandy Fjord. Um, as I say, it's value now, but go in whenever you like. But for me, I like 65. Why do I like that time? You get better trading, that's all. You, obviously, if you go, go in 65, 70, you get a goal in the 75th minute. You get a nice bit of 
time to trade trade um i don't know what this is number 29 i said i'd do 30 and then we're going to go to a bit more structured ones um but i'll um yeah i'll probably be back at the weekend i'll see you all uh later on have a lovely easter monday enjoy the rest of it back to work tomorrow uh podcast out tomorrow and i will see you all later yes and if you can thank you mr penny like and subscribe much appreciated and i'll um speak to you all soon